What is up, y'all? Old Massey back here with another video. Uh, today, I got a few complaints on the 13 Civic Si, all right? Just a few. But first, I'm going to clean it up because she is nasty, all right? She hadn't been cleaned in like over a month, I'd say. Easily, easily over a month. Uh, she's pretty nasty. Probably looks fine on camera, but there's stains everywhere. Oh, update on the sun fade. That's part of it. So, yep. Let's uh, let's get cracking on that, and uh, let me let me sh tell you what I don't like about the 13 Civic Si. Let's go. I forgot to mention that we will be doing a uh, a full detail, full detail on Sabrina here beforehand with the whole clay bar, ceramic spray, everything like that. Um, so I'm gonna make it happen. I'm using the last bit of this grits uh, wheel cleaner because I got something else I'm using from now on. But this stuff works, y'all. This stuff works, buddy. Wow. Oh my. This looks sexy, buddy. Sheesh. All right, y'all. So this thing is looking absolutely phenomenal at the moment. Now, off of that and onto a few things that I dislike about this car, uh, let me change my shirt, clean up, and uh, I'll be right back. All right, y'all, let's get on to the first thing I do not like about this car. Um, I think this applies to all eighth and ninth gen Civics in general, uh, and that is the paint and clear coat, all right? Um, as you can tell, I'm rocking a nice, a nice leopard going on here. Look at that. Look at that sun fade. Oh my goodness, y'all. So I got the car in 2019, um, and I'm pretty sure the dealership screwed me over because the roof was nowhere near, obviously it's gotten worse just naturally, but it was nowhere near this, okay? It was actually black. The roof was black when I bought the car in November of 2019. The car was only six years old, you know what I mean? Six years old. So I suspected that they put some of that my dad told me something about this black kind of stuff that you can like cover up sun fade and stuff like that with and uh that didn't make me happy so yeah um i have hella sun fade on this car here like the car you know right now 2021 is only what eight years old you know what i mean um it's also starting to grow you can see on this corner here it's turning there i saw yep right here it's starting you can kind of tell by the, yep, you can see it get all ugly there and smooth there. Yep. Starting right there. Also, right here on the hood, you can kind of tell. I don't know if you can on camera. It's like right on the crease, starting to get uh, a light gray. Um, yeah, I just keep randomly finding spots like that. And uh, this is absolutely horrid. So if you're in a truck behind me driving, you're like, whoa, this dude's got a fucked up paint job. <laughs> And besides the sun fade, this thing scratches extremely easy, okay? Um, you go through a drive through wash and it's horrifying, okay? <laughs> this amount of scratches that show up afterwards is, is terrible. So um, that's why actually I started my detailing company. Uh, link in the description, it's Kinetic Car Care. Check me out if you're in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Uh, but that is why I actually started that because this thing is so, so sensitive to uh, scratching. All right, so next thing on the list is this freaking rev hang, okay? Rev hang. So what it does is uh, when you're driving and you push the clutch in, 
it leaves the RPMs there for a second and then starts to drop, okay? Um, why am I complaining about this? Uh, because this is my fifth car, fourth manual, okay? It's my fourth manual car. And uh, I drive this car worse than any of the cars that I've had before. Now, why is that? Is because this thing feels dumb, honestly. It actually feels dumb trying to drive it. it it's always confused, right? Um, so I've had two Mustangs. One was a 2000 with a 4.6. One was a 2016 with the Coyote, right? Um, and then my third one was uh, Kylie, the 97 Honda Civic, right? But yes, it just makes it impossible to be smooth 100% of the time. And I get very irritated with not being smooth 100% of the time. Um, so then I start saying fuck it. I start just, just, just driving too aggressive. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. All right, it's going to be a bit shaky, but you'll get the idea. get some people hitting me up in the comments saying you're just a young kid you can't drive you're a piece of shit go get a fucking automatic all right no fuck you all right listen <laughs> i know how to i'm not saying i'm the best manual driver but i know how to drive manual all right i've been driving manual for six years that's decent all right that's pretty decent okay and i have never gone through a clutch because of me um so yes that does extremely bother me because because then it makes me look like a bad driver if I can't handle my car freaking RPMs, you know what I mean? So that is uh, definitely number two, actually probably number one, but um, nice little 370Z. Let's see what happens. Sounded pretty good. All right, number three on the list, um, I would say would have to be the uh, weight distribution, okay? Now, what are you talking about? What does that have to do with anything? Well, once upon a time, I spun this bitch uh, into the trees. Uh, once, a, two times a time, <laughs> I uh, slid it out. Not all the way spin, but, you know, hit a little skid, right? On accident, an accidental skid. Now, I have no video or photographic proof, so who knows it actually happened? Anyways, yes, this rear end of this car is extremely light, okay? And definitely if you have subpar tires, uh, you'll be you'll be sliding this thing like a rear-wheel drive on accident, right? Um, so the weight distribution of the car is 62 front, 38% back. Um, that's actually quite intense. Um, like, to com just to compare it, just to compare it to another car, the EK Civic, uh, it's 59 and what, 34, 35, whatever it is, whatever the other one is. 59 is the front weight uh, percentage. And uh, you can tell a difference. Like that car doesn't really want to slide out. And I whipped the EK Civic around turns way harder than this thing. Um, and you can definitely feel the weight, like it transfer when you're trying to go hard around a turn, you know, you can feel the transfer and slide. So uh, uh, yeah. So now I got great Yokohama S drive tires in the rear, summer tires. So I have yet to have that issue again. Um, but actually, check this out. Pretty good handling car. It's just uh, the weight distribution is a little weird, so you might need some downforce or something like that. Um, I know people recommend uh, sway bars in the rear. I think that helps out. I think that helps out with the uh, 
with the oversteer. This thing's fresh. This thing does look fucking good right now. Now, this isn't a complaint, but it is something to be aware of. Um, I'm about to do this here. Watch this. Uh, the gearing is extremely short, so watch this. So I'm going to go 2K, right? 2K in first, 10. 2K in second, 15. 2K in third, 22. 2K in fourth, 30. 2K in fifth, 37. 2K and 6th, let me grind, let me grind up this a little bit. 2K and 6th is 47. <laughs> Y'all, these gears are extremely short and it is awesome, all right? Uh, <laughs> I think, ah, oh, I can't remember this now. I'm pretty sure the final drive in the trans is um, 4.26. I'll correct it if I'm wrong, but I believe it's 4.26, which is uh, very, very short. Uh, I'm used to comparing it to Mustangs. Now, I'm used to the Mustang final drive setup, and uh, four tens were incredibly short for a Mustang, but of course the transmission gears are different, so I can't compare it like that. Extremely short gears, so be ready to be shifting consistently. All right, so the fourth complaint I have for this car is probably the suspension. Um, it being an SI, you would expect it to be a nice, tight, nimble ride, but still comfortable to drive, you know? Um, I can tell you, it's definitely comfortable. Um, probably a little too comfortable. Um, this thing has quite a bit of body sway. Like, it really shouldn't have that because it's an SI, but uh, it does. And it's not like it has crazy miles on it. Like right So when I bought the car, it had 67,000 miles. And obviously it hadn't changed, it's the 80 now, um, 80 something now. And it's it's nice body sway, gotta love it, all right? I drove, my mom has a 2014 Civic, just a regular four door one. And uh, I can tell you it's not as bad as that, but I expected more out of an SI. Number five is the fact that it only has intake VTEC and not intake and exhaust VTEC. Um, now like the old SI, the 2000 SI, the EK, that has intake and exhaust. Uh, the, uh, I'm pretty sure, I don't want to sound stupid, but the uh, 03 SI or whatever with the K series in it, the K20, I'm pretty sure that had both uh, intake and exhaust DTEC. Um, I don't know why they chose to do it with this car, but they did choose a different exhaust manifold setup. It's like more like a bottleneck rather than four, rather than four open, you know, exhaust routes on the head, it's one big one, okay? One big one. Um, it's kind of weird. It looks dope, okay? It looks extremely ideal for a turbo setup, but supposedly it's not because it's a bottleneck. It doesn't It's not. It doesn't flow very efficiently. Now, I can tell you the intake VTEC does work. Listen to these beautiful sounds. I think that wraps it up. Um, now I'm not, obviously all these things I mentioned can be fixed. So it's not like it's a do or die situation. It was a baby dream car of mine, like a miniature dream car. Um, and I impulse bought it and I regret the financing part of it, but if I bought it outright, this thing would be awesome. And it, awesome, okay. I just don't like the debt, honestly. But this thing is super cool. Uh, it works, I'm turning it into a work meal, you know what I mean? Maybe turn it into a truck. Who knows? We'll see what happens. Uh, I've had some crazy thoughts. All right. All right, y'all. That just about wraps it up. Uh, check out Kinetic Car Care below. I'll get your car nice and clean just like this. Man, this is hot. This looks hot right now. Um, <laughs> so hopefully you did enjoy. Please like, subscribe. And I got something coming real soon. So this isn't a lie. I actually do have something coming real soon. I'm going to force it in. Um, so please stay tuned. Uh, thank you for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.